want to talk from the book, the Gospel of Luke, the physician. Yes, sir. Would you please stand for the reading of God's word? Amen. We want to look at Luke 23, starting at verse 42. When you have it, please say amen. amen. Luke 23, starting at verse 42. Amen. Amen. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto him, Yes, sir. Verily I say unto thee, To this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yes, sir, man. I want to talk about saving while yet dying. Mm. Wow. Stuff, Saving while yet dying. Amen? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Can I take my time just for a minute? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Church, it's always good to be able to give an account for the hope that lies within us. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Here we see the perfect redemption plan unfold right before our very eyes. Uh-huh. One of the darkest days known to the believer uh -huh. was the road to Calvary. Yes, sir. One of the darkest days mm -hmm. known to the believer was the road to Calvary. Mm -hmm. Jesus' church was beaten beyond human likeness, beyond any man. And I know in the black Baptist church, we normally hear he hung, he bled, and he died. But church, I stop by to tell you, there's a lot more than that that happened. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Luke, the gospel writer, the physician, gives us an account of a profound dialogue here in the scripture. Uh -huh. This dialogue took place between a savior and a condemned thief. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. And you ask the question, you say, preacher, tell me all about it. I'll be glad to give it all to you. Mm. What does Maya Angelou and Denzel Washington have in common, church? Mm. I'm asking that question. What do they have in common? You see, through their giftedness and their way of captivating our attention through dialogue, uh -huh. the great poet has an extraordinary way of inviting us into a beautiful conversation through her inspiration. Amen? Uh -huh. Amen. You see, a be the beautiful way that she uses through, through poetry, she writes and she sits down and she invites everybody in. Yes, sir. While she encourages at the same time. Yes, sir. That's right. And you see that Denzel Washington have a magnificent approach. Yes, he does. And all of his movies. Mm -hmm. He has a way of captivating us. Mm -hmm. He has a way of really bringing out the character that he's portraying. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it has a rippling effect on everybody that's watching the TV show. Uh -huh. But I tell you what, church, there's a, there's a dialogue mm -hmm. that happened between a thief and a savior uh -huh. that right. captivates right. yes, sir. Right. never before. Right. Amen? Right. You see, this, this, this captivation, this dialogue happened between a savior and a condemned thief. All right. All right. And church, I love movies, I love drama shows, I love poetry. And I and I and I, I gotta say this, nothing captivates me between that that the the dialogue between the savior mm -hmm. and a dying thief. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes, sir. I wanna say this. On God got this hill, on Calvary's hill that Pastor just talked about. Yes, sir. Here we see the power of God working. Through God the Son, uh -huh. while yet dying. Amen? Yes, sir. Amen. Here we see the power of God drawing a convicted thief yeah, unto man. salvation. Yeah, man. Here we see a penitent heart uh -huh. and the power of God working. Uh -huh. Amen? Uh -huh. You see, the thief realizes that he, he was naked. The thief realized that he was hopeless. Mm. The, the, the thief realized that he needed a savior to save himself. Amen? Yes, sir. While the thief was on the cross dying, mm -hmm. and he was getting his, his 
the pastor in order, church. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was, man. Notice this. While he was yet dying, mm -hmm. he was getting his affairs in order. And I want to I wanna, I wanna encourage church. The Bible mentions to us we are dying daily. Amen. But our spirit man is living on. Amen? Amen. So while we are busy buying, losing, selling, and gaining, remember this. Get your affairs in order. Amen? Amen. Yes, sir. That's a good word, man. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Saving while yet dying. Mm -hmm. Here's what Jesus did for us, church. Mm -hmm. Love me, he died. Mm -hmm. He died to save me as well. Amen? Mm -hmm. So I say this. No greater love than no this love. than a man lay down no. his life for a friend. Yes. Yes. And usually in the black Baptist church, and pastor yes. just mentioned it. Jesus opened the door to the church mm -hmm. while yet dying. Mm -hmm. How significant is that? Yes, sir. Church, if you, I mean, you're not, you're not thinking about trying to encourage somebody else while you're yet dying. Amen? Yes, sir. But remember, he came to seek and to save yes, that which was lost. Yes, sir. And so, and so while he was yet dying, he reached out to that thief. While he was yet dying, yes, that thief realized that he need a savior. Yes, sir. Church, let me tell you something. That thief was down by 10. Mm -hmm. Understand this. He was down by 10. And there was only minutes left in the game. Yes, sir. What did he do, church? He simply turned the ball over to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. I want to encourage you. While you are down in the dumps, My while you are down by 10, I want to encourage you to give the ball over to the Lord Jesus Christ. While he was dying, he had yet the power to save. Even unto death, the centurion got saved. Yes, sir. The captain of the army. Yes, and church, the significance of the cross, he's still saving to this day. Yes, he is. You say, preacher, how you know? Because he saved the rich like me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He died, church. He was dying to save yes. that thief on the cross. Yes. And so I want to give you this on Resurrection Sunday. Realize the significance of the cross. Realize the power of the cross. Yeah, man. He can forgive us. Yes, and he is. also has the power to save us. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Dying. Dying. He saved us, church. Yeah. Therefore, I can live on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that something was said. I pray that something yeah. was, was given unto you uh -huh. to give you a little more um, a yeah. little more power to yeah. run this race. Amen. Yeah. Yeah.